Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a question from compiler design. So yes, this is a very important subject from gate perspective also and one of the critical subjects in BTEC also. So uh, in compiler design, there is a very interesting topic which is lexical analyzer where you analyze various tokens, you know, you work with strings, tokens, um, lexical expressions, grammars. So from that topic, uh, GATE 2018 picked the question and which is this that we are going to deal with today. So essentially, we are going to proceed from grammar to string to tokens. So that is why I have highlighted it as the heading. So let's see what the question was and let's see how we solve this. Yeah, so let's quickly go through the question. Let's see what the question tends to inform us and what do we need to do over here. So we've been given the question that a lexical analyzer uses the following patterns. These are the patterns which are being given over here to recognize three tokens T1, T2, T3, okay, T1, T2, T3 over the alphabets A, B and C. So A, B and C are involved as the alphabets to form various strings using these three patterns, okay? Now, one thing they have specified over here is that note that X question mark means zero or one occurrence, okay? So it means zero and one occurrence and we already know about the star. So star over here, it means zero or multiple occurrences okay so this is a common symbol used in regular expressions so that is what it means now they say that note also that the analyzer outputs the tokens that matches the longest possible prefix now this is which is very important uh, which is what uh, marks a special corner to this question there may be multiple answers possible you know to match a particular string there may be multiple patterns, multiple tokens, but they are asking us to present such a pattern which in which the token match the longest possible prefix. Okay, so this is what is an important condition over here. You can say this is the condition that we need to consider. Okay, next if the string this is the string is processed by the analyzer, which one of the following sequence of tokens it outputs so essentially they ask us the token sequence to generate the string okay and the condition over here is that the token match the longest possible prefix okay now there are two methods to solve such kind of question so i discuss both the methods but the two methods are one is direct method which i also say as working through the string so in which we work through the string we uh, see the string then we observe it and we tend to find the tokens okay uh, tokens in the manner that we form the string and the other one is working through the options so this is which i discussed very frequently uh, that you know how do we approach the answer through the options so that is the second method i'll discuss both the methods one by one so let's start with the first method first so we have the direct method over here yeah so the string over here is i've written the string and i've written the tokens now what i'll be doing is i'll be observing the string and the tokens so using these patterns basically i'll be trying to uh, using these patterns which i've specified over here i'll be trying to form the string so let's start with it so first of all i did uh, observe the string it starts with a and ends with c sorry it starts with b and ends with c now i'll check for the patterns which start with b okay so this is very very important over here so over here if we see t1 it starts with a it says zero or one occurrence of a and then with multiple occurrences of b right so uh, t1 can we use t1 so um then if we use t1 yes we can use t1 why because we need multiple occurrences of b in the starting okay we need two occurrences of b but if we use it then we'll only be left with one occurrence of a okay so i'm just trying to you know 
uh, get to the possible answer by matching a longest uh, substring. Okay, so uh, I'll be only able to take one A from here, whereas we need at least two A's over here. So I'll try to check for a pattern where I can get two A's instead by using the same token. Okay, so I check for some other expression. Then the other option which is left is D3 because I have to start my string with B. So over here also I can choose two B's and I can also choose, choose two A's then because this is B or A combinations, right? I can have multiple number of B's and A's over here. And then I can also get a C which I require after two A's, right? So that means this is a favorable situation for me because I am able to get two B's, two A's and then a C. So basically this half a portion or more than half a portion of my string I'll get by using this T3 pattern directly. So I choose this T3, okay. Then th the leftover portion, I'll try to form the leftover portion of uh, my string. Now I can use T1 to get one A from here and then one B, one C, but then it also ends with A. So the important necessary condition over here is that my string should end with C. So the only left option over here is then T3. So let's try forming uh, this leftover portion of string using T3. So yes, I can, since this says uh, multiple, you know, multiple combinations of A and B, I can always form AB from here and C, it ends with C. So I get the leftover portion of my string ABC from T3 itself. So, in this manner, I form this T3, T3, which is one of the favorable options as well, right? This is one of the favorable options, so I mark B as the answer. So, this was the first method, but uh, one of the problems in uh, working through the string is sometimes you get struck in the, uh, you know, uh, method because it, it is taking maybe a lot of time in observing it directly in uh, finding the different combinations. So therefore, in a, there is another favorable approach which is working through the options. You directly try out the options and you check which is one uh, favorable answer which is also mat matching the given condition. So therefore, I start with the first option over here. Now, uh, solving with the second method. <clears throat> So again, I write the tokens over here. These are the tokens. This is the string and my first option. So now in this again, I'll be trying to form, it, form the string using these tokens. So when I use T1, now let's see it's written T1. So let's see what I can get using T1. So I need to start it with B. I need two Bs, two As and then C. So using T1, I get two Bs. But I don't require any C before an A. So that means I'll be only getting two Bs and a single A from here. So that is what I've written over here. Two Bs and a single A. Then after that, I require something A, C, A, B, C in this form. So, and that to using T2. So I start with T2 over here. Now I can get A. Then I can get C, then I can get another A from here and then I can get B but it ends at B. So therefore I get this portion of my string which is A, C, A, B from here. Then I am only le left with C which I get from T3 as it ends with C. So 0 are number of occurrences so 0 over here and I get only C from here. So in this manner I am getting my string from here, yes. But if you just, you know, uh, compare it with what we got over here in our previous part, we actually got this prefix T3, prefix from here and this is T3. And this prefix is basically longer than any of the, uh, you can say, sub parts of the string which you are getting over here. So therefore, this is not uh, the answer basically if you are also checking with options you'll have to check all the options and then you'll have to check the condition that which one is giving you 
the longest prefix. So this is for the first option. Then we check for the second option. Then, then the second option is T1, T1, T3. So using T1 again, I'll only be able to form this portion BBA. So that we have done over here. Then again, using T1, I have to form something in this form, which is ACABC, right? So T1 ACABC. So yes, I can take an A from here. So A, then C again, I can take from here. And then I require A so I can take from here, but it ends here. So I'll be only getting ACA from here. So that is what I've written over here. Then using T3, I need to form BC. So yes, it is possible one B from here and one C. So here is the string. Again, the length of the prefix over here is three. The length of prefix over here is also 3. We try with the C option. It is T2, T1, T3. Using T2, you'll get only 1 B from here, but you need 2 Bs in the beginning. That means we'll have to end it over here using this B. So BB is what I get from T2. Then T1, I need to form at least 2 As. So 1 A from here, 1 A from here, it ends over here. So I get only 2 As from here. That is T1. And then I'm left with my string C, A, B, C, which I need to form from T3, right? In order to get this answer as one of the possible answers, right? So T3, C, yes, we can get from here. Then using this, I can form A, B. And using the last C, I can form C. So therefore, I get C, A, B, C from here. So T2, T1, T3, the prefix over here has a length of 2. The last option this we had already done so i have written the direct answer over here and the length of prefix over here is four so clear clear cut answer is in front of you so this is the option which is leading you to the prefix of longest length right token to a string matching with the longest prefix so therefore the answer for this question is t3 t3 so that's all for this question, this part of my video. I hope you did enjoy my video. Uh, you did gain uh, a bit more of understanding or clarity of this topic. In case you did, in case you liked the video, please press the like icon below to support the video. Uh, also, if you are new to my channel and would like to see more of such videos, please press the subscribe icon below and also click the bell icon to get notified with my latest videos i'll be back with more of such videos till then stay tuned keep learning stay safe thank you